Hello, Jerry. What's going on, Lulu? Give me a second. Okay. Let me see if I can make this happen. That's cool. So I have some new glasses, but I can barely see with them on. So I don't know if I'm going to wear them. <laughs> okay. I mean, you could do the Mr. Magoo thing. That's okay. You know, the whole no line bifocal thing. Right. <laughs> and That's by the way, your whole reaction when I told you. Right. <laughs> and by the way, oh, your whole reaction when I uh -oh. told you. This is bad. I know. What's up, D'Angelo? Do you see this? This is terrible. Okay, forget it. Hey, D'Angelo. <laughs> We're having some some difficulties. I'm, I'm hearing it over and over again. It's ridiculous. Okay. Um, so anyway. So anyway. How you been, Jerry? I'm good. I'm good. How you been? I'm good. We have D'Angelo so far, Ms. Madam. Alicia is here. Shy Rue is here. Shy, are you from Chicago? Or, you know, I, am I thinking you one of us? <laughs> so how's life intriguing, man? How's the new job? New job is good. I'm enjoying it. Um, it's just I've, I've been so busy lately. It's crazy. I've been wanting to put out a video for the longest time. So I decided that I was like, yo, let me let me try to hop on live with you so I can like show off some of the new stuff that I got. I was all excited. What about you? How's life? Oh, she's coming back, y'all. But yeah. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I've been like purchasing, and she's back. My bad. I don't know what I just did, but I <laughs> <laughs> you just clicked on. You looked at it. You were like, you know what? I don't even like this conversation. <laughs> right. But whatever I did brought up the volume, so I could hear you. So hey, we're good. Hey, that's good because I was gonna say, boy, you you were still mad about me calling your bifocals <laughs> bifocals. <laughs> It was just the way you said it. So we were talking today, and I told this fool, "I got no, I got no Ooh. line back." Really? <laughs> wow, man, it made me dizzy. I looked through myself. Whoa, man, I had my eyes. Woo. <laughs> really? Really? Oh, okay, okay. You see, you see ants farming, don't you? You see them cooking, don't you? <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You better put the glasses on so you can see. See y'all, she got mad at me again. Ran away. And we had a conversation earlier. My bad, my bad. I'm trying something's going on with the comments. So I'm trying oh, did somebody put a comment up because I don't think I'm seeing them all right now. I was gonna say I didn't see them all either. Oh, there we go. Alicia said something. She laughed. <laughs> Do you see him? No. Yeah, now I do. Hey, oh, no. Now I messed up the vid audio. Did you? Wow. Okay. She'll be back. She'll be back. What's going on, Love Jones? You can see only yours. Okay. Okay, I'm back in now. My bad. I can see. I can see everybody now. <laughs> Okay, so you can. So what you see? You saw your. You saw your uh, future in my sh in my glasses, did you? I saw everything. I saw <laughs> ants farming. I saw <laughs> cooking. I saw somebody making greens. I don't know who that was. Maybe it was your neighbor. Don't forget you. <laughs> I mean, but today has been a revelation for you and me. <laughs> what I said without you leaving me a voicemail message. <laughs> I know. I was like, wait a minute. No, you didn't just say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, sitting there, I was like, voicemail, huh? <laughs> like, oh, I got to use a voicemail? Got to check voicemail? I was like, oh. <laughs> what was the exact words that you said? I can't remember. I said in full transparency. <laughs> in full <laughs> I got to use my voicemail. <laughs> Yes, 
I don't even know how to check voicemail. I was like, oh my God. I was like, look, I had to sit there with my phone for a little bit, flipping through things. I was like, I know I got voicemail on there someplace. Yeah. Hey, Chantel. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> I Sage. I think this is somebody new Sage Black Club. I've never seen you before. Welcome. But I'm sorry, it was the truth. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I saw, when I saw you said I sent you a message, I was like, he sent me a message. I'm like, I'm looking at my text. I don't see no damn message. And then it was like, oh hell, he talking about voicemail. The hell. You sat there, you were like, did, did they send a message on horse? Like, am I supposed to sign for, for the right. I was know? like, okay, okay, okay. Whew. Oh. Was tough. That was tough. That was tough for me, though. <laughs> but you got through it. You got I through did, it. you know, because and I didn't ask my daughter, because see, if I asked her, she'd have talked shit about me. You know, like, you, you had this phone for a year, you don't even know how to use a voicemail on it. See, I, that's what I would have heard. So I, I refuse to tell her. <laughs> and you went on YouTube and looked it up, didn't you? <laughs> no. I said, I, let me see what I did. I punched in V in my, in you know, in my apps. Yeah. It's searching my apps. I said, it's got to be a voicemail app on here. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> so I found it. And then I was like, <laughs> then I had to set it up. Because I was like, oh, shit, you got to set this shit up now? What the hell? Hey, Sanders. <laughs> so, with those glasses, I mean, you were looking at the code going through the phone. <laughs> <anyway, so. laughs> I was looking at the matrix. Right. I felt like the, the numbers was running across. <laughs> yeah, ones and zeros all over the place. What's up, Mark? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. So, welcome. We back. We back. You know, we've been off for a minute. Okay. So, we came up with something. We came up with something. So, um, I had to set up like this on my phone today because I didn't tell you uh, I had a little leak. I had a little, with all the rain, I had a little um, little flood in my basement, in my closet. But I didn't know for a few days because I don't, you know, it's summertime. I ain't put no real clothes. Right. And then it, it was car it's carpet in there. So, I, I didn't see it at first. So, I'm try I'm, I, I got stuff all over because... I was like, why are my shoes wet? Okay. I'd have, been, I'd have been heated if my shoes were wet. It was just the bottoms. It was just like the boxes because there were some in boxes. Because it wasn't the whole, it was just like a corner of my closet. Okay. So the good thing was it wasn't the whole thing was flooded because I'd have been sick. Yeah. Um, but it was just like, so it was like a few boxes, like the very bottoms of them. I was like, dang, what is it? Then I touched, I was like, oh my God, that's wet. Okay, so anyway. I'm glad it's not. I'm glad they're not soaking. <laughs> yeah, now I got to get somebody out here and fix that corner in the foundation because I went outside and looked and it's like a whole little um, no, nothing's ruined. Nothing got ruined. Thank goodness. Um, but it's like a corner, like a whole brick is missing. I just know, you know, because I didn't even see it before. Didn't notice it. And with, you know, regular rain, it has to happen. So I got to get, you know, I got to get the I, I don't want to say this because it sounds so racist, but you know who I got to call, right? Uh, yeah, okay. I, I do. I got, some, I got some. I got some in my. I got some in my my phone right now. <laughs> my my land people, my landscape people's cousins. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna try not to laugh at that one. <laughs> My Home Depot crew. Let me say, okay, oh, shit, I called the Home Depot. I called the Home Depot crew too, cause I just go to Home Depot and pick me up a whole crew. I'm not laughing at that. But did I, I didn't lie about anything though. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody, but y'all know. Okay, I'm a hold. I'm a hold that one. Swallow it, man. Swallow it, swallow it, swallow it, swallow it. Okay. All right. Listen, real talk. I sure ain't going to pick up. I ain't going to call my brother because he go, because you know what a black man going to do? Let me tell you about these black, these, I'm a contractor. 
and I'm a contractor. You know them. I'm a contractor, right? He gonna come in here. He gonna ask for five hundred dollars to fix that. He gonna need half down, and he ain't gonna get to it for three months. And I'm gonna have to keep calling. And then when he do it, I'm still gonna have to call my my home decrop po crew because he ain't gonna do it right anyway. And I hate to say it like that, but it's the truth. You guys to be real careful with our people because our people be fucking shit up all the time. And that's sad, but true. Look, swat, you trying to swallow yeah, that shit too? Hell no lies because I had that happen in my condo before. I, I had it happen. And then the you dude, know, you try to support, and they be like, to, you be like, the dude tried to upcharge, and he didn't know Buddy had the uh, phone on speaker. And he was saying how he was trying to swindle me, the guy that was on the phone. So, yeah, you're right. You're See? Right. Yep. right? You know, we... Mm. Yeah, I know. I was like, oof. So, you're right. You're right. You're right. Anyways. <laughs> so, it's summertime. It's warm out here. I decided to put on my... I decided to put on a scarf because I wanted to look like real, like cool and shit since i got my no line but since i got my bifocals you know i'm feeling mm -hmm. and could and, and need it and it was having issues with voicemail i was trying to look a little young you know what i'm saying so this is my youthful look right you be like I, somebody be telling me something i'll be like let me let me look at you good <laughs> Let me see. Your, I can see your soul. Oh, <laughs> the thing is with these, because says you don't wear glasses. The way these things work is, there's it's called progressives, right? So up here is like for this is so like you know you look straight, you look. But like when I'm reading, I'm supposed to look down. So now I'm trying to get in. The, but then there's a middle part that's more for what I'm doing now, which is reading off of this. So not, but I can't. I gotta figure it out where my eyes have to land in order to use it. So it's a mess right now. I was going to say, your eyes are like making me busy. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm looking at you. I'm like, would you take those things off? I'm starting to get sick. <laughs> like, Jesus. <laughs> Why does my stomach hurt every time you put your glasses you on? Glasses don't you on. ever need glasses and I know your ass. Ooh. If you get to the point where you need glasses, I am going to clown you like bozo. <laughs> I'm going to be homie the clown in your ass. I hope I don't need those Coke bottles that you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> you had a break. And your tongue goes out right away. you like, <laughs> <laughs> eyes crossing everything. <laughs> You know what, Sherry? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do I think about contacts? <laughs> Putting them things in my eyes, I'm always worried that I'm going to poke my eyes, so I'm scared of them. All right. <laughs> I just rather wear the glasses. Okay, so we're doing our... What we doing? <laughs> 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 Weren't these supposed to be like like summertime ish? Summertime freshies, summertime freshies. There we go. I got it. Woo! I came back. To <laughs> right? You see? You see? You ain't even right. Boy, it's a good thing I'm not sensitive. Freshies. It's a good thing I'm not sensitive. We 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 ain't the sensitive crew because we be in here crying about the way we talk about each other. <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh, can I show you something before we get started? Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of stuff, Vincent sent me this and he said <laughs> and he said that um <laughs> Jerry was gonna be the, uh that you should have gone to. Let me see if I can get it in here for y'all to see. I should have gone to complex. No, it's the baby booty shorts versus hoochie daddy shorts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> <You're dirty. laughs> so how how your hoochie days been doing this summer? Hey, they've been they've been working. They've been working like two dollar hard. Hey, when you trying to get when you trying to get like a percentage off of food, hoochie daddies. I understand. They're like, oh, you um, want fifteen percent off? Bet. Right, you got to bring hoochie daddy. He's like, what you want? Hoochie daddies. Hey, Sonny. All right. Hi, everybody. Okay, so okay, so we're talking about fresh scents for the summertime, right? Our fresh ones. Sort of. Sort of fresh. Sort of fresh. Sort of fresh. You gonna need the CDs? I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some more uh I, hey, I still need some subscribers. We see him when we get to a thousand subscribers. He got to show the hoochie daddies. The hoochies. We, we got to get into a thousand. Uh, I got to work on that then. Sure, <laughs> <do>. <laughs> <not> there. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to go easy breezy. Um, You know, kind of expected because you know when you think about it you either do it oh i didn't think about my citrus ones um i didn't even think about that one okay ah, i gotta I'm sorry okay here we go i'm just sorry my butt bad no you're good i am just trying to get it together <laughs> take, your take your time right we need yep see we need to get a campaign campaign thousand hoochies for right. the thousand that's right hoochie for the thousand <laughs> Okay, so this is Banana Republic 90 Pure White. This is like, a, this is a classic. This is a classic. It is. No slow citrusy, tea base. And this was like one of the first ones when I was like, oh, I like a fresh one. Because before then, you couldn't catch me in this kind of stuff. I'd have been like, mm -mm, mm mm But then I put this one on and I was like, okay. So it's got the, like, the little green tea. It's got a little grapefruit. And I usually don't like grapefruit. And it has lavender, something I don't like either. But for some reason, they blend it well so that it's actually really nice. You know, really, it's like just really. This is one like when I'm going to the, when I'm like running to like go to the UPS store or something early in the morning. It's kind of like that early in the morning throwing on, you know, thing. So that's my first one. What's your first one? My first one is, so first off, I want to grab the notes. Because I really enjoy this one. This one sits really soft on my skin, but I notice that I get wafts in the air of it from it. Mm -hmm. But um, I I picked up Zaharoff's um signature citrine. Okay, look at you with the Zaharoff. So I was I was pleasantly surprised by this fragrance. Um, at first, I thought it was going to have like a lot of, I thought it was going to have a big projection, but it doesn't. It's like a soft, very uh, citrusy based fragrance. This one has mandarin orange, sweet orange, has cardamom, red currant, and fennel. It also has clementine in it. Um, it has patchouli, oak moss, myrrh. <laughs> Ooh, it has a lot of different things. I was about to say, you got everything, basically? Yeah. But it's, it's fresh and soft. It's overly fresh. It's crazy how fresh this is. And I like the fact that it actually changes on my skin. So while I'm wearing this one, it tends to, like, kind of flow very well. So, like, at the, at the first part of spraying this on you, it's like, oh, wow, there's citrus. Okay. And all of a sudden, it starts to get a little darker. Then it goes back and it goes lighter again. So you're getting all of that. You're getting like kind of that super citrusy smell. But then you're also getting a little bit of, ooh, you're getting a little bit of like everything that's in here. It's, it's really nice. But um, something okay. to check out. Something to really check out. So okay. it's, uh, signature citrine. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. So... Gonna go with what do I do with it? You lost it. <laughs> oh no, here it is. Okay. I was like, I don't have my glasses on. See, I can't even see stuff. You know, I'm out here like I don't even put them things on. You know, I, I'm I'm trying, you know, you done shamed me. Shamed me. 
<laughs> so well, I don't burn it gonna... out anymore, so you can't burn anybody with those glasses. <laughs> oh, you just, just, oh, you just doing it. Okay, so this one, unfortunately, is discontinued. I got a couple of discontinued ones in here. This is Victor Roth's magic spell. This is part of their, um, oh, I can see you. Uh, look at yeah. you, look at this is a part of their magic collection. So this is a discontinued one. They don't have this anymore. Um, okay. This has pink grapefruit and pink pepper, um, sage and spicy mint, and wormwood and patchouli, which seems I wouldn't like it at all. But, yeah. And what happened was I was just buying them because they was I saw they were like half price. So mm -hmm. I bought them. You know what I mean? You do right, you know. So I bought it. I was like, "Well, if I don't like it, I I could pass it on or something." And it right. does have a little mintiness to it, but it wears really. It, now this is pretty unisex, leaning right. slightly masculine. It can be a right. little masculine, but for some reason, the mint works for me on here, and I don't like mint. Um, okay. And then. The wormwood isn't too bad. Patchouli just kind of grind, grounds it down. So, like, mm -hmm. I haven't worn this in a while. Because, uh, for like, when I first got it, I was wearing it. I was like, ooh, this is my fragrance. This is my summertime fragrance. Yeah. And, of course, you know, things happen. Um, yeah. But yeah. it's like a citrusy, minty vibe. And then as it dries down, you get this little bit of patchouli that makes it a little more... Gives it a, just a little more depth, so it's not you know, it just doesn't go away. You know, you're not right. just stuck with mint. So it has like this almost like chocolatey minty vibes as it dries down. Um, okay. Really cute, really cute. Um, very surprising because when I saw it, I was like, I don't know why am I gonna have something that got sage in it. I don't think I want sage on is my turkey, but right. okay, <laughs> right, right, right. And you but, but for some reason it works. So. Mark. So I got so this is Sage Spell. Okay, Mark, I actually have Alien Man. It's uh, it's actually really nice. It's it's very soft. Um, it's not. It's perfect for office scent. Um, I actually haven't worn it in a while, so thank you for saying that. I'm gonna wear it this week, so I'm gonna bring that mm -hmm. one up. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, Anise Dill Mint. No, that would just no. Mm -mm. You'd be surprised. It smells really good. I've worn it before, but because of all the things that I have, I don't wear it too often. And then I get like that inkling to wear it. And then I wear right. something else. Right. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, all Very right. So what's your next one? My next one is an amazingly new fragrance that I've like really fallen in love with. Um, I actually wore this yesterday and <laughs> face red, droopy eyes. What's that mean? What was my Alicia? Know. Yeah, no, I'm like, huh? What's going on? Let us know. I know, I was wondering too. But um I ended up picking up Zaharoff's Coco Loco. Okay, I did see that one. I've seen stuff, I've seen stuff about it. When I tell you that this is sexy, this is gorgeous. This has like, there's clementine, pineapple, cardamom, and pear. Then you're also getting coconut, pimento, um, jasmine, cedar, neroli, tonka, vanilla, heliotrope, white musk, and benzoin. This one is, whew. This one is crazy. Yeah, it does look like Mardi Gras. I really it like does. the bottle. And uh, everybody has a different top that it comes with. Which is okay. Really cool. Look at it being, in look at it being interesting. What is the weird self? It's really nice. It It's also a citrus fragrance that kind of has a decent amount of longevity. I get about a good seven hours, seven, eight, which is, which is good. You know, towards the eight, you're it's like barely there, but in the beginning, you're getting it. It's really nice if if uh, there's like a wind blowing, crazy. I've had people stop me and ask me what I was wearing. Uh, this this woman was like, she wanted to get this for her man, and I told her what it was. So it's really nice. Well, Sanders, you, I think you'll be impressed. 
This one is really beautiful. It's also unisex too. Um, on a if woman. If you cannot see the chat, I'm sorry. If you cannot see the chat, um, I have it streaming on both my channels. So you might be on the other channel, ain't nobody on. So if you don't see any chat, you might want to switch to the other one of my channels because I posted it up. Look, I learned that I could do both, and it just oh. streamed. Yeah, man, don't let them let me do Twitter. Or I'm no, not Twitter. I, no. I agree. If they let us, if they let me connect IG, I would be doing like streaming on every damn platform. So I'm just saying. I think you can, if I'm not mistaken. I think you can. I, I don't think we can because if we could, I we could I could have hooked this up on IG too. I'm gonna mm -hmm. see because if we can hook up I because I know you can hook up Facebook, but yeah. Facebook is lame. Right. Nobody goes on Facebook. Right. Who's gonna be on Facebook Live? Nobody. Um, and IG is kind of lame too, but okay. Um, but at least you know somebody will look. Um right. TikTok though, they be my TikTok people be on it. Okay. Right. So since I had something else that was uh discontinued, I'm gonna show something else discontinued just to be that person. Oh, okay. Cause you know I can't I can't keep up with you with the pricing, but I got a few that's discontinued. You know what I'm saying I gotta stay. You know I gotta try to st you know do something with your ass <laughs> because you know your stuff be like. Hey, Sonny, we saw you before. Say hello. Where's it at? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this and this was really not popular at all. This is a Mason Lancome. This is Jasmine Doe. I know everybody likes um, jazz with marzipan, right? Mm -hmm. um, but this is the one that I like. And so this one barely was out. This was came and went so quick, it wasn't even funny. Yeah. Nobody really talked about it. But this is jasmine. It's got jasmine tea. It's got a little peach. It's got bergamot mm -hmm. and some plum. It is just, it's just, a, it's a jasmine with a jasmine tea. It's, it's really gorgeous. And it's light, it's refreshing, um, it's perfect for the summertime. And it's just, you know, it's a really light, cute j jasmine. We're going to have to do a discontinued one day. I All know, I know. <laughs> They'll be like, why y'all showing us this? And we can't get right. it. They'll be like, why are you saying that? Stop telling me about that. Right, I know what you know, told me about it. Attitudes. What's that? People get getting attitude. <laughs> right. All right. So my next one is something new that I just picked up that I'm like really in love with. Um, this one is City Rhythms Miami Tropical Confessions. I've been looking at the city rhythm rhythms ones. I've been thinking. I've been. I've been going back and forth. I still haven't got it. This one is musky. It's um. It has a. It smells very musky. There's a sweetness to it. It's not overly sweet. It has this unisex vibe to it. But I really feel like it may lean a little bit masculine. And then it has coconut milk, hibiscus nectar. Uh, lime, jasmine, white rum, magnolia. Uh, it's got everything else in it. It's got everything that Zaha Rob didn't have in it. Pretty much. Earth, <laughs> <laughs> vodka bean, vanilla orchid, and uh, sandalwood. But what's crazy about this is that it comes with something that you like. Hey, what you mean I like whips? <laughs> what? Wait a minute. First off, they give you a whip? Yeah. It came with a red whip. <laughs> I was like, I'm okay. confused. Okay, I was confused too. Why it came with a red whip? But but yeah, it came with a whip with a red whip. I'm assuming because it's a very naughty fragrance. I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna. I'm a, I, yeah. That's what I was saying too, Mark. I was just, I'm okay. confused on that one because it's like the non model one. I could see them doing that. Say what is it? Sato Maso or whatever it was the Nasa model one they had come out with the you know with the fetish one he had. Oh, I can see yeah. him doing that one. I can see him sending that out. But it's called I don't know. I, don't know. I mean by you... Miami, I don't think whips. <laughs> Miami, I think 
I just think I naked bodies because I go to the because I like the naked beach in Miami. But okay. <laughs> Of course you would know. I'm sure you can see everybody in those glasses with them, uh, with them glasses on. You see everybody on the beach from all the way. I can see your ass off in the uh, off in the uh, yonder suburb, Mr. Shastens. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> the light is reflected off of these, so they make it look even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Um uh, no. I any under the radar perfume spots. There's actually a lot of different apothecaries. There's I do a little bit of traveling here and there to find stuff. So uh yeah, I do the, the gray joggers are on deck tonight. <laughs> 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 but I do I do a little bit of uh traveling here and there. It depends on where I want to go. So, <laughs> see, I thought I got the anti glare coating. I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. As much as I paid for these bitches, um, yeah, even after insurance. Are you ready for this? Even after insurance, and I got decent insurance. <laughs> Everything, these babies was six hundred and fifty nine dollars, and that's after insurance. That's what I luckily I have money in my FSA. No wonder you can see people's souls. It costs that much. <laughs> hey, glasses cost. <laughs> very expensive. <laughs> yeah, I get one pair like this, you know, when I go get them. And then they're, all the rest of them is going to be cheap as hell because I'm going on to the other sites. But, um, yeah, I got this one pair. Plus, when I'm trying them on, I, the frames are so hot. So I got them. They're very lightweight, which is really good because usually my um okay, here's some. So since you want to talk shit about me, let me just let me just help you talk shit. Okay, so I'm just gonna help you, right? Okay, let me just help you. Uh, this side, this side. My eyes are different. I have different strengths in my eyes. So my left eye is almost twenty twenty. It's like I think it's up to 2050 now. Okay. My right eye. <laughs> um, I don't I think it's gotten better. It used to be 2200, which means <laughs> right. <200. laughs> yeah, so so, <laughs> so my my glasses, you know, my lenses, one is these I like because it used to be back in the day that my right one would be so heavy because the you know the the lens was so thick. Now they can make them the same size so they don't you know because I used to have a thicker lens. <laughs> Go ahead, enjoy it, right? Right. I'm in an era where I cannot say this joke, so I'm just not gonna say it. Right, because you know somebody gonna get sensitive. You know I ain't, but I'm not gonna say the joke. I'm just but, I'm, I'm gonna keep that one to myself. Yeah. Um, yes, I slightly do have a sleepy eye because my right eye, because it's so weak, the eye muscles are weaker too. So sometimes if you notice my eye is a little and they talk so it's better than it so when I'm tired, it's like really bad, and that's when I cover my eye. So if you ever see me filming that eye covered, it's because the motherfuckers like sleepy as hell. <laughs> So, hey, Faith. Yes, he's talking about Mercer Apothecary. Um, um, I've been there too, but there's another, there's a few that are even out in the burbs. So there's, what is it? One in Geneva. Um, they have a few that they were building out towards like Willowbrook as well. There's a lot of different ones. Thank you. Okay. Uh they look just as big as my my. Uh... <laughs> okay, All right. you, I'm sorry. You, you <laughs> I mean, it's okay, because we've had a whole conversation about this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so I got this one. Um, trying out a. Does he have this on here or do I need to go? Nope, he does. Okay, so this is a decant. 
that I got recently. This is from Sphinx Fragrances. Okay. Called Heavenly Lilies. I actually bought something else from them. But this one has tuberose, carnation, honey, garden. Okay. I don't care about all that. What it does is it's a really pretty light. It's got a little sharpness to it. because So you know how lilies have a sharpness? There's a little sharpness to it when it first opens up. But it's like this sharp floral. And then as it dries down, you get a little bit of sweetness from the honey. I really enjoy this fragrance to the point uh, <clears throat> that this has become my fragrance for my Tinkerbell. So like in the morning, I spray her with it. So that's how fresh and cute it is. So it's like a really pretty floral. It's got a little, uh, like I said, it's got a little sharpness, like a greenness to it. And then, because um, it's got some saffron, it's actually got coffee in it. I don't catch the coffee at all, an almond. So it does get a little powdery as it dries down. Okay. But I really enjoy it. Um, <clears throat> and it's just like really cute. And, it's, and, and it smells so good on my granddaughter. So, you know, it's got to be fresh if I could put it on a one-year-old. Right, of course. <laughs> of course. Yes, I'm about I did to my hair up a little bit. I cut it lower. <clears throat> Just going to get back down to waves. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. So my next one is 2654. Oh, you're back. pulling out two of them. Okay, I see you. That's right. Got two of them for you. Two of them. So this, one is, this one is nice, too. Um, This one's like more, more of like that coconut rum. Has like sugar cane, almonds. Uh, mm -hmm. to me smells a lot it's it's like i don't know what's the word it smells more masculine um i really enjoy it and i like the sprayer too it's one of those pressurized sprayers mm -hmm. this one is really good because it has like heliotrope in it juniper berries uh sea salt I know also he came uh he came out with a new one. I think it's called St. John. I want to check out, but these are these are really nice. Uh 100 mils. I forgot how much they are. They're like maybe in the 160 170 mark. Yeah. <clears throat> I think so. But it's nice. It's really really nice. Uh, no, I looked at them and actually his pricing isn't bad because his, you know, because normally I'd be coming for you with your pricing, but right. I, I, I was going to buy him. So I know his prices ain't bad. Okay. No. So I'm about to do two. And the reason why I'm doing two, because they both have the same name, but they're two okay. different houses. So my, uh, Hey, Courtney, this <laughs> is Serge Luton's Santa Blanc. Okay. So this is a class. This is. It's got, it's powdery, it's, it's a little musky, it's got iris, it's got um, sandalwood, of course, it's got musk in it, and it's got a little cinnamon to give it a little spiciness. So this is just, this is really clean, aesthetic, you know, if you just want to have on something, this, I, I always say that this is one of those ones that feels like, you know, you just got up, you just w took a shower and walked out. It feels like you didn't do anything. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? It's just giving that clean vibe. Like, you know, this is, um, you know, we're just chilling and I, I just smell good. I, you know, I, it's effortless. It's one of those effortless ones because it's musky, it's powdery. It's got a little bit of spiciness to it, but not too much. Not too much. Not too much. Right not too much. And right. then, you know, just the, and that sandalwood, you know, dry, you know, got that sandalwood going on. So this is Santa Blanc by Serge Luton. Okay. Then I have Santa Blanc by Van Cleef and Arpels. Oh, I love that one. I wanted to get that. And they were yeah. sold out. Yeah, they so yeah, it keeps selling out. Um, yeah. but it's it's got the fig and the tea in it. Oh, this yeah. is good. It's really this, good. This is really good. So this is and it's so funny because they have the same name, but they definitely have different vibes. Um, yep. Just, you know, their, their vibes are definitely different um, mm -hmm. because like this one is, let me see. Uh, like I said, it's got fig, it's got uh, tea in it. It's got a little, I'm trying to remember everything quite quick. Uh, 
Yeah, it's got a little mandarin orange and then violet and some tonka beans. So it's a little more, this is a little, just a little sweeter as it dries down. But right. it's, it's, this I've been wearing a lot too because it's just really chill. This is like, you don't even, you ain't got to yeah. think about anything. You just put it on. Now, I'm going to say this mm -hmm. with, where is it at? I don't have it out, but I have a decant of it out. Don't I? This with Mancera's Fig Ecstasy. Oh. Ooh, yes. Okay. Yes, it says Gourmand Crusader. <laughs> yep. Oh, y'all finally saw that. <laughs> but yeah, so this is, so then that really brings out that fig because the fig is just perfect. It's not woody. It's, you yeah. know, because I can't stand that woody fig. I don't want to smell like a piece of wood. I like this one because it's like the it's like the flesh. It's like a fleshy, but it's not too sweet. It's just perfectly unisex. So that's Santa Blanc VCA. Yep. <laughs> hey Bashan. What's up, Bashan? All right. So remember what we were talking about before, and you were like, oh, you always buying these doggone expensive fragrances. <laughs> I've been waiting for a big one to come out. Let me see it. It's nothing. It's not that big. It's not that big. It's just a uh, Pacific Chill. That's all. This this fragrance here, I wore this today, and I love. I know you said you don't really like mint, but mint in this fragrance is so nice. So it's kind of a, if you've ever smelled afternoon uh, swim before, it kind of smells like a mixture between that and then them adding a little bit more mint in it or citron, different things like that. But um, the notes actually have orange, citron, mint, lemon, black currant, coriander. Um, you're also getting apricot, basil, carrot seeds, and uh, may rose. And then it also has dates, figs, and then ambrette in it as well. So this one, this one is ridiculous. It smells so good. Um, the second I smelled it on skin, I was like, go ahead, ring me out. Uh, this one, this one was kind of pricey, but I, of course it is. Don't, don't, don't tell me it was kind of pricey. Negro, Louis Vuitton are going to say, I know how much it costs. What was that, 400 Nope. You're wrong. How much? Three. I think three. Three what? I think it was three. three and some. No, I think it's three straight. Don't make me look it up. I think it's three. It's, I think it's three, right? <laughs> I dream of it being on this counter too. You know, if uh if you work for Louis Vuitton, you get it for I think it's over half off. Yes. Yes, they're they're they have a great, great um See? Courtney said it's okay, it's 300. Okay, I'll give you that. Okay, it's 300. Okay. Okay, because I was like, because I was gonna clown you. I was gonna clown from you. Who I was gonna clown you? I was gonna clown you. I was gonna clown Nah. I was going to say, uh, I have a friend that works for Louis Vuitton. I found out after I bought it. I was like, I, you know, I bet you they kind of watch them, though, about that to make sure they they're do. not. Yeah. They do. Right, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask a friend. Right. Know, I'm like, I'm not trying to have you uh, lose your job. If I can't buy it, I can't buy it. Right. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure. Because they do give, like I, like, I heard it's like... 70% off. Yeah. It's around it's like 50 it's either 50 or 70% off that they get on stuff. So yeah, they told me that they got it for well under no, they got it for free because they have to test it. They they got it for free. So cuz I sprayed it and then, and then they were like, "Yo, what what are you wearing? Like that smells so familiar." And I was like, Louie, I said Louie, and then she jumped out, and she was like, Pacific Chill. And I'm like, yo, how did you know that? And she's like, 
you didn't see my shoes? And I'm like, I wasn't even paying attention. Well, okay, so friends can help friends out, but Louis Vuitton, <laughs> Louis Vuitton is real serious about how much they're, 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 uh, they buy. So they watch them. Yep. So you can they can't they can, because to make sure that they're not just letting people use their discount, they really watch them about that. So now nah, you really can't get them from somebody who you know. Yeah. You I know mean, they could decant it. <laughs> right, right. But that's about it. Okay. Yep. My next one is another Serge Luton, which is Claire de Musk. This I is a mean. I haven't really delved into too much Serge Luton other than um, Shergi. That's all mm. I have. I don't even wear it. I have quite a bit. Yeah. So this one is what it says. It's a clear must. It's got a little citrus in it. It's got bergamot in it. It's got a little neroli. But it's just musky iris. So it's musky powdery with a little citrus vibe on it. Um, it's so interesting because um, it's such a like four notes kind of plain seeming, but mm -hmm. it's one of those things that people do notice because I always get somebody to say, oh, that really smells good. It's very um, likable because it's just a really clean, fresh fragrance on you. And it's another one of those that you probably you don't even notice you wearing it because like when I'm wearing it and I will. Yeah. I will overspray the hell out of it, but it's it, it's not something that's gonna like overwhelm you, and it's one of those things that you could wear in situations where you're not supposed to be wearing fragrances. Um, yeah. You know, you know, what I'm saying like you could wear it into that into a hospital into a situation like that, and it would just smell like oh, she's just like smells so clean, so fresh. It wouldn't yeah. be offensive to anybody, or you know, when you work in them offices, whatever. Like we don't like people wearing fragrances. You could wear Claire de Musk. You could okay. wear it. Yeah, I was going to say, I luckily for me, I don't have that problem anymore, but I used to have that problem all the time. So I used yes. to go to my little office and close the door. And <laughs> I've been so lucky that I haven't had like students that have issues with fragrance, you know, um, so I, I don't care. Whatever. Yeah, because they, they, they stink. They smell musty. And I haven't had any like co-workers because i did work at this one sc school where this woman was like she was so allergic to it if you sprayed it she was like oh my god she had to run out the room right, right. so you so i'm lucky like, yeah yeah I don't, like, I don't like any of the fragrances from the harmonist i tried i've tried them at least five times going through all of them and they are i just don't like any of them See, you know what I didn't like? I didn't like the harmless pricing. So I said, ain't no point in me trying this. What's I don't my... mind the pricing if the if the juice is good. I don't mind the pricing. It's I know you it... don't. <laughs> is how it it's how it makes me feel when I'm wearing okay. it. If it okay, is see, like I... a feeling. See, my problem is I am that cheap person. You know, right. um and and the funny thing is, is like, I will spend a lot. So I could probably buy, like, I could buy easily a three or four hundred dollars. But to yeah. me, I'll be like, if I can't find it on a discount, I need some type of discount. I need some type of discount to make me feel good about my, my life choices. Because if I'm spending, it, I want to feel like, okay, I got some out of this. I didn't pay full price, right? So... That's why I really have. But let me tell you what I tried that I was like, and I tried this a while ago before they started really talking about it. What is the one that looks like the chess pieces? I was like, well, it's all right. Um, I have two from them. Um, I was like, I they know. are. I mean, they're nice, but I just wasn't so like, I wasn't to the point where I could say, damn, I might want to spend full price for this. No, that's what that, that makes sense. it's um the other one. Um I want to say state of mind, but it's not state of mind. What is the name uh, of it? Mind, mind games. Game. That's it. There we go. <laughs> I know I'm sitting there, I'm like, I know I'm what like it is. <laughs> right. All I know is it look like chess pieces. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew it was I knew it was mind games. Um, because I have I have double attack, which I do like. It's uh chocolate and patchouli. 
and then uh i forgot what the other one oh J uh J jadug is the other one that i have that one's really good too but it's um i have a uh i have another fragrance that smells like that that you can get on discounts all the time so is their chocolate and patchouli better than behold patchouli by gallagher because i that's my chocolate and patchouli one that i love and i don't even like patchouli i like gallagher's but i think um i think the other one has a bit of do i have Beaufort London. No, I do not. I got some other stuff. Um, I think I think it's a bit more refined. That's... What makes it more refined? Um, when people say that, I need to know what is what does something make it more refined? So you know how certain fragrances are like like loud and they're blaring and they they push and project off your skin a certain way. You can wear that one and it's a it's a subtle killer. So it doesn't have that over projection like that. Like you're not going to fill a room and choke people out, but you will fill a room like people will notice that it's you that's in that in that room. But behold, but truly isn't that either. It's not super loud. At least not no, on me. It's not. But but this is like so behold patchouli is loud on me. So okay. I'm just telling you from my skin. Right, that's what I'm saying. Are, yeah, so the way that my skin works, I could choke somebody out with certain fragrances that other people can't because my skin will make a fragrance smell sweeter than what it what it normally is. But for the mind games one, uh, <laughs> you know, it's different. No, I get it. <laughs> she said <laughs> she said she want to choke folks out. Okay, wait a minute. So let me let because this here is here is about to come out. So, so you basically telling us your skin is like sugar, because you know you saying that it brings out all the sweetness and everything. So your, so you basically saying that your skin is like sugar. Is that what we? Is that is that what I'm hearing? Your, your skin is like sugar. Mm -mm. So should we call you sugar daddy? Should mm -mm. we call you sugar? Mm -mm. I'm gonna start calling you sugar gourmand. Sugar gourmand. Uh uh. <laughs> Call me Beaties, right? I'm gonna call you, call you Sucra. Sucra. <laughs> I'm gonna find every word for sugar. <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna start fine. calling you Azuka. <laughs> Azuka. <laughs> right, I'm gonna be calling you. I'm gonna find every day for sugar. I'm gonna be coming in here with Lebanese for sugar. That's gonna be your name one night. Every. <laughs> Valencian for the win. Sugarfoot. That's what we calling you. Sugarfoot. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm with, with every <laughs> Kazakhstan. <laughs> I'm going to be like Kazakhstan. Sugar. I'm going to be like German. Sugar. Russian. Sugar. I'm going to call you everything that I can think of. Portuguese. Sugar. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying because, because, because you said you, I was trying that, but she's like, you know, because things got sweeter on my skin. I would scoop the fuck out of me, sugar foot. Hey, you get mad. <laughs> okay, sugar foot. <laughs> Um, skin tight, skin I should play you some. I should pull up the, the Ohio players. This one, okay, I won't call you Sugar Foot, but I call you Ohio players. <laughs> uh, be like, ow. Okay. Um, psychedelic is is has a bit more patchouli in it, so it smells dirty on me. I got that special skin. <laughs> I'm telling you, he coated in sugar. He co he coated in maple, either that or maple syrup. Which one is it? Maple syrup. <laughs> Anyways, is it my turn? <laughs> we go ahead and change the subject. Uh, so, one of my newer pickups, and I think this one was really done well. Um, and I know not, you know, what's so funny is I'm seeing that not a lot of people are big fans of this one, but or big fans of of his um, 
of his brand anymore. I don't know why, but um, Black Cliffs, Eminence. Now, was it ever popular? So, I thought at one point, and you know what's so funny, is everybody kept talking about how Mr. Pink was really good. I have Mr. Pink. I did not like it for the longest time. Then all of a sudden, it smells good on me. And I like it. This fixes Mr. Pink. Um, this one actually has a lot of notes as well. So it has bergamot, black pepper, ginger. It has smoke, elemy, um, pineapple, sugar cane, brandy, uh, lavender, jasmine, uh, papyrus. It also has amber, has guyac wood, sandalwood, so many notes, must civet. But what makes this one really nice is the fact that it's kind of smooth. So there is no real harshness to it like the other one was. And I, like I said, I'll, I'll spray it on me now and I can actually smell it. So to me, it has remnants of Mr. Pink. So if you smell Mr. Pink and it wasn't something for you, this is a lot better. So you can actually wear this one in the summertime. Like you're not going to kill anybody. And it's not overly harsh. It's smoky, has sweetness to it, but it's also fresh. So there is a bit of that freshness in there that we were talking about before. And uh, the bottle itself, you know, everybody, everybody was looking at it. Um, the bottle itself is just really nice. Has that part you don't like, so you may want to close your eyes because it has that split. No, um, I, I appreciate the split for her, the fact that you can see what you have. But, you know, I saw a picture um, from Perfumology mm -hmm. of the display for their fragrances, and that is high. Have you yeah. seen it where it looks like it's like a mountain and they're just – I think that is cool. Um, yeah. I like that. I was like, okay, okay. Yeah. They should be expensive yeah. just for that. Right. Well, here's the other thing, too, because I used Max Aroma. And if y'all not using, like, the little codes, I mean, they had a 20% off. <sighs> Max Aroma. Okay, like yeah. I told you. I mean, I, and Max Aroma does have a lot of codes, and I do see them. But I'm telling you that you get the whale codes. We get the we get you get the whale codes. I'm sorry. There, there's trust me. I've worked in retail, and I've worked in places like that. There's a there's a there's a whole nother. You are in a whole different lane. Mm -mm. You you in a whole different lane, baby. You are in a whole different lane. <laughs> I am. Hey, I got it. I got it for a really good deal. That's why I said it. it's. I liked it. That was the one that I really wanted. Um, yeah, they do. They send out. Yep. I mean, they do send out discount codes. Uh, yep, they have a right. logo right now. I told right. you about Yeah, but I ain't got no money. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, see, there's some special codes. Now, the BOGO, everybody got. Um, mm -hmm. But I'd already, spent, I'd already spent all I got. I ain't got no damn money. <laughs> I, I ain't got no more to spend. Not a damn thing. I, I low-key bought a lot of stuff recently. I did too. But it wasn't no, but it wasn't just fragrance. I bought a lot right. of stuff. Oh, like fun. I bought stuff. Yeah, I bought stuff. Like I bought um stuff in my yard, stuff in my garden. So I was buying stuff like that. I was buying, you know, so I bought a lot, I bought a lot of stuff. I bought a lot of stuff. So it was like chill for a minute. Trust me, my diet and the stuff that I buy for it is crazy. So Okay, so I'm gonna give you this one. This is Carvin Le Eau de Toilette. Oh, so this is a floral musky, but this is really floral with a lot of citrus on the top. It's got mm -hmm. Italian lemon and it's got sweet pea and peony and freesia, white hyacinth, wisteria, sandalwood, musk, and amber. So it's a really mm, It's really gorgeous. It's really, this is girly though. This is super girly because it's very floral. It's like a nice little, it's like if you have on a um, bouquet, a floral bouquet, because it's like, because it's not white florals. It's just a beautiful florals 
the mm -hmm. peony is pretty strong the freezer is pretty good but then you got that lemon and the lemon is tart but not astringent you know how sometimes it can be astringent this is just a tart lemon that actually helps to like make the florals not quite so like old-fashioned right right and of course this is francis kirk john and we know that i like francis kirk john when he ain't mfk <laughs> because honestly his style is almost the same on it you is. know it is so if you like certain mfks you need to find his stuff that he's made for other stuff people much cheaper so yeah. like this this reads like not like um 724 it's kind of sort of like something 24 because i tried it but yeah and then it's got this you know dries down it's got that musk in it Ooh, it's good it's good I um my next one is one of my favorite out of out of everything that i have and this one is so excuse me for messing up his name the first part is lorenzo and it's like pazagalia or something like that but it's arctic sea this one, Ooh, I like that one. This one is crazy good. It's an X straight the parfum. Um, the closest thing. So, I was going through my fragrances and I thought I found something that smelled similar to this one, but it's not fully. Um, so first off, the notes in this one is uh, it's it's very. It has a lot of C notes. It's ozonic, but it also has uh, the citruses up top. So you have the bergamot, uh, you have orange blossom, yuzu, green notes, wormwood, citron, uh, has mandarin orange, lots of notes. They also have C notes and florals in the mid and then salty notes and then patchouli, ambret, amber, um, lots, 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 and lots of notes. But what makes this thing crazy is that I did two sprays and all day long, lasted me all day long. Everybody was asking me, what was I wearing? The closest thing that I smelled was Bergamot Imperial from Genre Parfums. But for some reason, I get like a deal note at first, but they do meet in the middle somewhere, but then they go... And like their own separate directions because I think it's because the bergamot and then you're getting like uh, the musk in there and they kind of like have a similar meeting somewhere. So uh, this one is really nice. It was, it's not how much it costs. It's how much shipping was. That shipping was crazy, but a friend of mine ended up helping me get the shipping to be like way less. So I think this was this was somewhere in like the one it was in the ones. So it wasn't it wasn't that bad for a 50 mil for the juice. So how much was the shipping? Shipping was forty dollars. <laughs> shipping was forty dollars. But like I said, I got I got a hookup on the shipping. So I was like ah, I got I a question. Was go ahead. When you do these two sprays, where exactly do you spray? Uh, so this was this was testing. So all I did was I sprayed chest and I sprayed arm and then I just tap. That's it. And it was like it was loud. Yeah, shipping. Okay. This is this is an Italian fragrance, so it's uh it's Italian. Okay. But okay. DHL, but that's that's two because I was going to work and I didn't know how it performed and I wanted to test it. Usually I'm not gonna tell you where else I spray, but I know you were asking for that reason. <laughs> I'm just asking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So where else do you spray? Other areas. <laughs> I spray in different spots. Mm hmm. How the glass is doing? How the glass is doing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to see somebody, right? Right? Because I know he's spraying. <laughs> spray, okay. Gotta spray. <laughs> Gotta spray in the right spots. 
<laughs> no, I don't have to. I don't. I don't hit the butt. With that. <laughs> I don't hit the butt with that. You were like, eh. <laughs> that's funny. I'm a powder dude. I'm a powder dude. <laughs> right, he got that chicken skin. <laughs> okay, so this is La Entre D, but this is the EDT version. Okay. And, and the reason why I like it is because the, uh, La Entre D is kind of sweet. It's like that, you know, sweet, you know, bubblegummy kind of tuberose. This okay. is very floral. This has got mm. poppy in it. It's got um, the tuberose, orange blossom, and musk, and some mm. vetiver and patchouli. <laughs> so this is a much lighter version, which is really good. It, like, this is my La Entre D for the summertime. So if I want to put on something like La Entre D, that type mm -hmm. of tuberose, I can put on this. And it's a lot lighter. It's they, they, I ain't clowning you now. They clowning you I now. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> Cause we all sitting up here speculating on where you on where you spray that you don't want to talk about. We're pretty. I'm pretty sure I know. Maybe, maybe. Let's put it this way: I smell good. That's all. <laughs> all you need to know. All right now. <laughs> so. Of course, you know, I wasn't going to just buy one with that, <laughs> with getting that hookup on the shipping. So, the, oh, yeah, you got it. Like, yeah, you got to buy more. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, I picked up Cherry Ink. This one, oh my God, the cherry in this is stupid good. Like, are we all trying to get that perfect cherry? This is crazy. So it's, it's, it's sour cherry, cherry, almond, rum, black pepper, and bergamot at, up top. It has red wine in it. It has ink in it. Myrrh, rose, jasmine, cinnamon, mimosa, lily of the valley, benzoin, vanilla. <laughs> the fresh fragrance. Quit playing with me. You just wanted to show that one. You're such a liar. Ain't nothing about that to say fresh. Not a this damn is, thing says fresh. This is this is fresh. Is fresh when it goes on my body. <laughs> <laughs> like Mentos. This is like Mentos. The fresh maker. Wait, is this ain't that? This ain't that. No, 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 no. High break. No, no. Long time no see. No, no. Quit. No. Yeah. <laughs> With that one, we talk about fresh, and you pull out some cherry. You say cherry, cherry, red wine. Mm. <laughs> Everything about this shit don't say nothing about mm. being fresh. It is fresh, right? You fresh to death, right? Because that's right. what you are. It's for Shea, it's for Shea. <laughs> okay, because ain't nothing about that damn thing fresh. It's for <laughs> Shea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, <sighs> it's actually a uh, very unisex when I wear it for some reason that cinnamon pops in and then you get more of like a masculine it's nice to me mm. I think right. we hit out 10 I think I hit out 10 I mean I have a couple of new I got new shit but you know what's well, give me give me three new ones because I got three more. <laughs> okay, this one is called by Sphinx Fragrances or Chata Evany. Or Chata, okay. Or so Chata. This, so this the Sphinx. What are they like a dupe place or what? No, they're, they're no. Their own? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is it is orchata. So it smells like orchata. It's milky, Ooh. it's cinnamony, and it's got a little rice note. You know, like a little rice note in it. It yeah. smells like orchata. I cannot wait wait for this for the fall. It's a really warm, spicy, just milky lactonic vibe. So, uh, and I will say this. Let me tell you, they had a, he had a sale. This bottle is 100 mils. It's only 90 on the site for 100 mils. Oh. And, um, but he had a sale, so I got it for like 65. 
65 or 67, something like that, because he had a sale over 4th of July. Okay. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, I might as well throw out whatever I want to, because your ass, you came out with Cherry Eat, well, you already got out of the freshest. So, I mean, you want to go back? Fine. I ended up picking no, no, up... No, that's, that's fine, that's fine. I know. I ended up picking some picking up some bond number nines, so I ended up getting um tri Oh, when they had the sale, they had to say what was it? Buy one, buy one large, buy a small one, then you get a large one free. Uh no, I got it from my hookup. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> this one, this one is uh you know what my hookup is. What Max and Roma? Yep. <laughs> hey, and I think I got it for like I think it was like forty percent off. <laughs> so, well, I mean, you can usually find buy number nines at decent prices if you look around. Joma Shop has them at really good prices. Fragrance Net a lot of times has them, so it's not that hard to find them. I'm I don't understand like the notes compared to what I'm smelling because it says there's hazelnut, cacao, jasmine, sandback, cedar, and broxen caramel and moss and i get i get more of a it's a fresh kind of uh br540 vibe but it's really nice i think and you don't have to like i spray a good um what do i spray i spray about a good five times and it's just it's really nice on my skin really airy <coughs> yeah see i hey they send me messages they're like 40 percent off better get it fast all right so this one is called summertime okay and this is by kai fragrances which is um the old owner of ganache parfums so he has since sold it off he started a new fragrance house and I will say, I, you know, because, of course, we know, y'all yeah, know, Ganache, I'm cool with JC. I'm surprised he ain't in here. So this, he has now, um, his new line, because he sent me the whole line, is more perfumery. It's not straight gourmands, because, you know, he was he's known for his gourmands, which are very good and delicious. But this one is a little more perfumery. So this is peach and coconut, but the peach is really peachy. And the coconut is more of a dry coconut. It's not like that, you know, suntan coconut. So it's more of a, a, a drier coconut. And then it's got lime in it. So it gives it a little zing. I really like that part. And then it has some gardenia, some tuberose, and white musk and ambergris. And some, what do you say? Masoy bark. I had to look it up. Um, and so this is a departure from what he's known for, but it is still beautiful. It is just like, I was wearing it the other day. The peach is so just juicy and ripe. And like I said, the coconut isn't too, you know, basic sweet coconut. It's like a drier one. So it really gives it a little tropical, but not like, what did I tell him? This vibes more like, um, like, um, not like going to the islands, but more like being like on the East Coast on a beach, you know, okay. just chilling on the beach. And so it's really, yeah, okay. really good. He's got some good ones. I got to get all the notes so I can finally do the video about him. But he's got this one you were like, it has got some oud in it. It's really good. Okay. You're going to have to send that to me. Uh, my next one is Nomad. I smelled this one in the store and fell in love immediately. And I was going to pick it up when I was, where was I at? I was in St. Louis and I decided not to. And I was like, let me look it up really quick and see if I can, if I can find it anywhere. Found it on Max Aroma, got it for like a 40% off. Boom. I was happy. So um, if you, if y'all don't know what the notes are, it's quince, pear, and black currant up top. Then there's rose, oud, orris, and violet leaves. And then finally, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. But what I like about this is that it doesn't sit overly heavy. 
on you. So like you can actually wear this one in the office and it not be overly heavy. Um, I actually would wear this. Uh, I would wear this all year round. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to spray it now because I like this one a lot. But this one is just really beautiful, I think, overall. Very unisex, too. But, um, again, has that sweetness. That sweetness. That's right. Oh, he, oh she said the face. I went because I was like, of course, you got your, you got your, you got your 75% off. Right. You hating. <laughs> Don't no hate, man. Why are you hating? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to say. Okay, so this one just came yesterday. And it is on it was on my wish list. Okay. So this is Moresque Scarlet oh. Rouge. Okay. I have a bunch of the uh secret collection. And I really wanted this one because I was trying to wait because, you know, fragrance that gets the secret collection is super cheap. The rest of them, like sets and all them, they, they, you know, like $70. But I paid a little more. Um, but so here's the notes. The notes are sweet almond, dried fruits, coconut milk and bergamot, white flowers, jasmine, cherry blossom and taif rose. Precious woods, musk, spices, vanilla, amber, and tonka beans. Some I wore like yesterday. So mm -hmm. you do, it is a very, it's a cherry blossom. Even though it's got all these other things in it, um, when I put it on, it's really, it, this is definitely girly. It leans very feminine because right. it has the hey, sweetness hey. to it. Do you have it already? No, I said you said so. Stay away from it. <laughs> right. no, I, I was thinking about buying something from that company because um, again, Max Rona has the buy one get one free for that company. But I've never tried any from them, and I wasn't too sure. I was trying to look at uh, different reviews on it, but I wasn't too sure. If you were going to get one of these, I would suggest you get Seta. It's a dry vanilla. Okay. That's ETA. But don't get it from Max Aroma because Fragrance Net, when they have these, they're only like $70. They're much cheaper than buying. Yeah. So they're, yeah. So that's why I was trying to see if it was going to get there. Um, okay. But so I paid like, a, I, I paid like 112 for this one because it's been around. Okay. But it's got this, um, it has like this fruitiness to it. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's definitely uh, dried fruit. But what happens is, as it dries down, you get this really delicate cherry blossom with the almond. So it's not cherry, but it's cherry blossom. So it's right. got that delicate vibe to it. And then you do get like, as it dries down, you get a little, it does stay spicy. It's got a little spiciness and you get the vanilla. But yeah, I was wearing, I was like, oh my God, I feel so girly. Oh my God, I feel so girly. That's good. All right, so my last one, because I kept seeing a lot of hype about this, and I really wanted to know, but um, New York Nights is the last one that I ended up picking up. And um, I'll be honest, like, it's not better than Manhattan, but I have to give it time um, because it is, it is pretty good. It just has like a whole bunch of notes that are, I don't know, they're, they don't seem like they match up. Like there's, there's hazelnut, there's cacao, there's caramel in it. There's, I forgot all the notes that are in it, but I get enamel <laughs> when I first smell it. And then all of a sudden it'll start to change. But you know how bond number nine is, it's like, You'll get something totally weird out of nowhere, and then it'll come back and smell like whatever it's supposed to smell like 20 minutes later, which is so weird to me. But. To be honest, I don't only really have, well, I got rid, I sold one, okay. and I have like two other ones, and one that was given to me, and so I have Chinatown, which I love, but that's so, you know, that's so a white floor, that's a two bro, so it is right. what it is. Um, I haven't really got into bond number nine. Because, you know, I have to pace myself with houses because 
if I get stuck on one, then I'm trying, I start buying a lot from them, you know, looking for sales and stuff. So I, I'm pacing myself with houses now. It'll be like, okay, I'm into this one. Let's just go and get everything. Cause like, I still want to get all of the Van Cleef and Arpels collection extraordinaire. There's a few more I want from there, you know, stuff like that. So it's like, I, bond number nine is like toward the back. Like if I ever get around to it, I'll get around to it, but you know, stuff be taken over. So Oh, like yeah. all of a sudden, like all of a sudden, I got a bunch of Lamar. How did that happen? <laughs> so, how many have you bought recently? You said, "Go and say it." Uh, are we including pending ones? Yes, there? whatever. What's what's on its way to you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this was eleven. So this was eleven plus the four that I got coming. So. Yeah, I didn't do. I I was doing bad. Yeah, you was doing bad. And that's that's bad. I mean, that's yeah. I know it is, especially at your price point, because I did kind of bad, but some of mine don't count because they Latafas. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I bought so... some, I bought some, I bought some uh, Middle Easterns, the cheap Middle Easterns. So those don't, you know, they they don't count against me. <laughs> right. I mean, I have. Yeah, I have four more coming, and that's I'm gonna try to be good for a little bit, like at least a month, <clears throat> at least a month, and we'll we'll see how this works out. But it's just been really hard, you know. Like you start, you get excited, you see stuff. Um, like for instance, like I said before, with this, I knew I wanted this. I wanted this a long time ago when I first smelled it. I was like, I'm getting that fragrance. Um, my boy Cart Cordell, which I, I told him I'm gonna start calling him the fragrance dealer. He's the reason why I bought these. That's why. So, I'm looking at this now. Before I, I'm a, I'm assume yeah. this is a joke because they don't want me to snap. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> uh, I don't have this. Do you have this? No, I don't have that one. No. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, it was. Yeah. It was good seeing you, Jerry. It was good seeing you too, Lou. Glad we were able to link up. <laughs> Yes, yes, because we've been having a hard time. That's okay. Well, you know what? If you know, we can always do it on Sundays if you like, because I usually do like a Sunday premiere. So if we do this instead, that's fine. Just let me know, and we'll, I can schedule it like that. Well, I mean, either way, I just I had yeah, we're going on. Right, right, right. I know we always got some stuff going on. And before I go, let me put on my uh, glasses one last time for you. <laughs> 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 it somebody dizzy. Okay, it makes it worse. Let me just turn off this light so it's not quite as bad. Cause you know, you let me just let me just fix it. <laughs> Without the light on, it's not quite as bad. Yes, it is. <laughs> Shut up, fool. <laughs> <laughs> you look good on you. Um. you don't get confused. Yes, it is. <laughs> they look good. Thank y'all. Thank you so much for coming to see us. All right. <laughs> see you all later. Good Have night. a great night. Good night. Good night.